The initial condition of the patient whose mandibular first molar suffered from a cusp fracture and lost marginal integrity of a large amalgam restoration. The patient had a missing portion of amalgam on the buckle that in combination with some dental caries had necessitated restoration with a full coverage crown. Because the patient wanted to receive the crown as quickly as possible and the restoration was a single unit in the posterior, Bruxer now zirconia was the ideal restorative solution. To begin the tooth preparation, the old amalgam was removed, exposing sound tooth structure. You will note the amalgam stained dentin in the distal lingual area. One of the advantages of being able to deliver a Bruxer now crown is the conservative preparation requirements for the solid zirconia material, which allows for a 0.7 tenths of millimeter minimum reduction thereby preserving the tooth structure. Lateral view of the occlusal and buccal reduction performed on the mandibular first molar. The correct preparation for this type of restoration is the same used for a full cast crown, including a non-aggressive design for the margin. The intraoral scanning process for the itero element scanner is intuitive and straightforward. I simply scanned the prep, the opposing, and the bite, and completed the digital impression in under a minute. After completing the digital impression, the Itero Element Scanner converts the scans into a virtual model. In this case, the scan was sent to the Fast Design software, the restoration design component of the Glidewell in-office solution for processing. And to begin the restoration design process, the margin was marked. The line is easily manipulated with the Fast Design I.O. A marking tool. Alternately, the clinician can have the software auto-select the margin. Next, the occlusal and buccal aspects of the tooth preparation were identified using the FAST design orientation tool. Occlusal and buccal views of crown proposal generated by the FAST design software are seen. The crown proposal is typically so precise that the clinician need only make minimal alterations to the shape, contours, contacts, and occlusion of the suggested design. Then the digital design file was sent to the fast mill for crown fabrication with the simple push of a button. The Bruxer now zirconia milling blocks are pre-shaped in cylindrical form to minimize fabrication time. The blocks are also fully centered, which eliminates the step of using an oven before delivering the dental restoration. A torque wrench was used to secure the Bruxer Now block to the fast mill for fabrication of the crown. The Bruxer Now crown was milled in less than 40 minutes using the fast mill in office unit. The milled restoration was retrieved from the fast mill unit, the sprue removed, and the zirconia polished using the simple, user friendly crown fabrication process. The Bruxer Now crown was tried in. Contacts were perfect, and no occlusal or other chair side adjustments were necessary. Our final outcome, the occlusal view of the final restoration, which was delivered using Ceramir Crown and Bridge Looting Cement. The patient was extremely pleased with the well-fitting, high-quality final restoration, and especially the speed at which it was delivered. Thanks to the durability of Bruxer Now Zirconia, she can expect a long-lasting restoration without worry of fractures. In conclusion, since moving beyond traditional impressions over a decade ago, I have seen the efficiency, cost savings, accuracy, and convenience of digital dentistry transform my practice, increase profitability, and boost patient satisfaction.